This is a bat made of carbon fiber, light as a feather and stronger than steel. Wow! This is our patented world's heaviest baseball full of tungsten and bismuth. In past videos, we've made the world's heaviest bats and the world's lightest bats, searching for the perfect way to guarantee home runs. The heavy ones are too hard to swing and the light ones both exploded when we tried to use them. We're going to make a styrofoam bat, wrap it in carbon fiber, and then dissolve the styrofoam using acetone. The only problem is we don't know how to use carbon fiber. Learned a fun lesson, tried to seal these together with super glue and it melted the styrofoam. So can't use super glue, hot glue it is. Woo! So it turns out hot glue also melts the styrofoam because it's too hot. Did you hear me fart? <laughs> <laughs> so the move is wood glue. Of all, of all things, the wood glue held it in place. We're now gonna trace the bat and freehand sand it down because the water jet would ruin the styrofoam. Like a hot knife through styrofoam. Okay, so I watched one YouTube video about how to do this. So basically we're experts. We're gonna make a strip as wide as the barrel here because that's all about uniform. And then we're gonna take another strip for this section and then another one for this section. Another little BT for the end. Now we would use a vacuum, but so many of you said a pressure pot is better. So we got ourselves a pressure pot and we are ready to make some great carbon fiber. Compression! So we've got a vacuum bag by Vac Well because we wouldn't want to vac bad. Uh... <laughs> we need special carbon fiber scissors. All right, we have our pieces cut and we are ready to rumble. Rumble! So, as many comments said, and as I learned in the YouTube video, you don't need my resin. Okay, that was a train wreck on the handle. I'm not even gonna try. that turns out well. This broke before we started doing the carbon fiber. Needless to say, it was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad attempt at using carbon fiber. Okay, day two, this is all. Let's see how it turned out. All right, that's the best I can do. I'm just gonna vacuum it and adjust it after it's vacuumed because it's too hard alone. I need friends. A couple hours later and this bat's a little bit bent. Also, the bag is leaking a little bit. It's not super sealed anymore which must mean it's damaged because the VacWell guarantee guarantees that if it don't hold their suction, they've likely been damaged. I wanna put it in a new bag, but I tried and it started unraveling all the carbon fiber. So I had the idea to put the vacuum bag into another vacuum bag. Why are the lights out? Uh, I don't know, why is your mom fat? <laughs> All right, well, neither of the bags held, so uh, a lot of good that did. Well, here it is in all its glory. The handle is super crooked. The top looks great, though. So biggest difference here between 1.0 and 2.0 is the weight. 
I ended up just disconnecting this part right here so I could put a little dowel in the middle and I'm gonna super glue the carbon fiber to the carbon fiber and hope it doesn't dissolve. Well, the top looks all right. And, uh, ooh. The vacuum did some unspeakable things to the handle here. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. All right, here's the finished product. It's yeah. not, uh, what? Yeah, over here. Hi. Who is that? Come here. Mitchell and Dan. Oh, hey guys. Hey. I miss you guys. Is, is Craig here? We came to get our last paycheck. Um, kind of. Uh, See if you can sneak it out. Craig's busy, just come inside. Proof of concept. Proof of concept? Say the thing, oh. do the thing. <laughs> That's awesome, Tom. <laughs> I think my tongue's on fire. Oh, I, meant, I meant for you to say myth busted. <laughs> myth busted. All right, now tilt it. Does it feel like it's dissolving? <laughs> what is that supposed to feel like? <laughs> it's dissolving, Dan. Can you feel it dissolving in there, Mitchell? Yeah. <laughs> it's like dissolving my skin. So total weight is about 10 ounces. For those who do drugs, 310 grams. Here's carbon fiber bat 1.0, 25 ounces. Okay, here's the wood bat, or 800. That's heavy. We got Jesse from Vegas Forge here because he's a retired Little League pitcher. Blue in just for this. <laughs> I'm here too. Just wanna make sure nobody forgets you, that. You never pitched Little League, Dan, so. My mom made me sign up for baseball once and I ran to my room and never went. So, <laughs> so we're gonna get a baseline with a wood bat with a tennis ball and a baseball and then try it out on the carbon fiber bat and see what happens. <laughs> Oh, how'd the bat do? No damage done. We're ready for the real baseball. Oh, great hey, hit. Hey. hey, Jesse, you bob for apples in the toilet. And you like it. Oh, that sounded like it compressed. All right, any dents? All right. You play ball like a girl. <laughs> oh. The strike zone. <laughs> Feel this spot where there's no foam in it now, and it's like yeah, it's squishy. <laughs> Least. The shortstop most definitely missed it. Oh yeah. yeah. You need a small one. Oh, that's <laughs> the way. I told you the squat. Proven method. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's a bat. That's good. All right. Ooh, that was built well. <laughs> She's thick. She's thick. <laughs> Yeah. More squat, more squat, more squat. Ha. Oh, hit it so hard I broke the bismuth. No, our heavy baseball. <laughs> bismuth. <laughs>